Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome. Continuing in my Halloween <laughs> theme. So I'm doing something else for Halloween now. I've got a little bit of, um, what's it called? Wood. <laughs> it's wood. Older, that's uh, it, older. older. Uh, yeah, I've got a piece of older on here, okay. And it is, it's five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. But I'm I'm gonna turn it down because I need to do a pot. I'm doing I'm gonna be doing a, a cauldron, okay, for my witches <laughs> there to stand round. Um you'll see all that later. Uh yeah, so I'm basically that's what I'm gonna be turning out of this. But I'm doing it with a bit of a a difference. I think it's gonna work what I wanna do. I hope it's gonna work <laughs> what I wanna do. Right, okay. Now I've done um I'm between set. I've got this on a worm screw. I've got it on my worm chuck there. Okay, and I've got my center up. So there we go. All right. So I'd already round it. I was going to do it end grain, but then I changed my mind because I wanted a, a lid on this, so I can't really do that. That wouldn't work so good. <laughs> All right. It probably would, but not what I was really thinking of doing. So I'll turn my speed down a little bit just to start off. Yeah, I've done carbide with the witches now. I'm going to use my spindle gouge on here. Well, because I love using my spindle gouges, okay? And I recommend everyone uses a bit of both. I really do. But if you want to just use carbide, that's fine. If you just want to use traditional, that's fine. Don't ever let anyone tell you any different. You use what you want to use. Right, okay, I'm going to spin it up a little bit more than that. I'll get a little bit of speed on it. Right, uh, spindle gouge, I'm going to use, just a, I'm just going to use a half inch spindle gouge, okay? standing here I can see a, a ball mm -hmm. I can actually see a ball through the shadow so I'm going to be roughly going for that shape <laughs> smaller bit but I think want to at the moment so I'm taking some fairly sort of uh, rough cuts really Okay, we've got it sort of more in shape so we get the speed up. Now start cutting better now.
going to get a foot on the bottom, but I'll to bring the bottom in a bit more, yeah. Got sort of that cauldron shape, you know? put here for now, it's getting older that. Well I'm on a worm screw so I'm going to take this away for a minute. Uh, am I or am I going to finish the top first? No I'm going to finish this top first. There we are, that's all the right there. So look at the bump there. Do that shape there. Okay, we'll do all right with that. Clean that. Right, okay. So now I want to take this away so I can get that bottom cleaned up. Right, 
So I'll just stop it for a minute so I can have a look. Right, yeah, I've got a few knots there. That's why I was having a little bit of trouble there, but that's all all right. That's looking good, that. Yeah, that's all looking good. Right, okay. I'm going to... Uh, okay, I'll get it turned round and start doing some of the front of it. Start doing some of the, the front of it. And put me... Uh, Spindle goes back. A minute. All right, I'll take it off of here. I'll get it put into a chuck. I think. I was gonna. I was thinking of burning it first, but I don't think I'll burn it until. R G D tools. Fantastic chuck. R D G. Screw chuck. Uh, brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. Right, okay. Now I think I should, yep, better get that in my, I'm going to use my shark jaws because that way it keeps it away. I want it away from the chuck if I can. Yeah, I want it out a little bit. that all right there yep that's gone back to the second little notch that's yeah that's holding that nice yep lovely chubbly <laughs> right okay now what i want to do i've got a plan this it's only a plan in my head it worked it worked <laughs> Remember I've done that bloody hole right down there didn't I? but that's all right because i'm going to need the holes in it anyway so mm -hmm. that will be okay right I've got something, I've got, I'm not telling you what I'm doing, but I've got a plan in my head. <laughs> Could be dangerous. <laughs> right, okay, let's start turning again. Uh, back to the spindle down. I'm actually going over to the three eighths at the moment. Okay, that's that done. Now, how far have I gone in? That's a little knock below this. Right, I think just to be on the safe side, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put another little bead here under this one. 
right back. Not really work that well, but never mind. Right, I want like that there. I might have altered some of that in a bit, I don't know, I'm going with it at the moment, I've got to part that off now. That's all right, I've got right down near the bottom. That's alright, no harm done. I wondered whether it was going to part right off or just oh hang on. Ah, that's what it's moving out of that first. That's it. No, that's not on there. get back where I had it that's it sorry it's bit in now I think no no it's moving forward that's it got it right that's it right that's okay I'll cut the rest of that with this because I'm down to where I was I was getting close to where I was going to stop right that's it, so I want that off, okay? That's gonna go back on after. So I've gotta make the little lip for that to fit in. So I'm gonna do that before I put this anywhere. That ain't gotta be done, nothing done with that. That's just gotta go back in, it'll be, you'll see when I do it, you'll see <laughs> what it's for. Right, we're all held back on. See you, that's 2,200 RPM. It comes and it just stops. Yeah. It just stopped there. That was it. <laughs> Nothing was bad. No, no, no bad happening. Nothing bad happening. where this is going to fit back in. So, I should probably get a little measurement on this. I'll try and set the calipers. Quick measurement. Just a rough one. Right, okay, I can see that. I only have to see it. Right, I'm going to use a square carbide. Right, let me see if that's going to go back in. Yeah, that's it. That's why I wanted to do that ring, see? So that fits back like that okay so that comes becomes the top of the cauldron again that fit better once i get some of this out right i'll leave that over there right okay we're going to be following this now so right we'll go to a slightly bigger spindle gouge clean that edge up one little path that's that clean Bit high.
just put a light on so I can see what I'm doing. You see right there? I know, but what's the thing? I can't go too thin on it because that's thin enough on that side there. Just got to take the bit out of the bottom here. Because I'm going to be burning it a bit, see? I think. I think I might. I don't know where I'm going to need to actually. It's the outside, isn't it? Right, it's getting hard to keep that in control now. Yeah. Gone too deep with it. Well, you could just go straight in a bit. Sorry? You could just go straight in a bit. Uh, yeah, I could do. Right, I'm just going to go to the box on the way. Finish this button off. I can't, um, can't keep the bevel in contact on the bottom there, so I don't want to go over to any bottom feed of bulk gouges or anything like that. Okay, there. That's all good there. Right, I've just got to check what I'm doing this this bottom. Right, okay. Thick there, that's all. Right, okay. Now I might not have to burn this, this might actually take the stain all right. Yeah. Right, let me have a look and see. First thing I've got to see if my lid's going to go back on. Yep, that's going to sit on there nicely, like so. Mm -hmm. So that's all right. And that's like that. Yep, that's going to all fit in there perfect. Right, okay. So I'm pretty much done with that. I'm not worrying that over on the inside of sand and that. You'll see why when it's done, but I'm gonna do a little bit on the outside, then I'm gonna stain it black, okay? But before I do any of that, first off, I've got to do something with this lid, which I will do just here. 
and you can see. Right, get rid of me. So, right, okay. Um, it'll be two seconds, two seconds. I just want to get the honey. I should have got this out earlier, but I'm not blue paper, so there's not one I've prepared earlier. <laughs> I'm just getting a little bit of red and a little bit of that's what got. That, that'll do. That'll do. Two little colours, right? Okay. Okay, I just wanted to get those guys. And now I've got to make up a little bit of epoxy, so sit that in there, let those the glue settle down to the bottom bit. So I've got to put a bit of glue in here, and then this is going to be drilled once that's dry. So while I'm finishing this, that'll be drying, and this is going to be for my cauldron. Right, okay, let's see. Just need to get a, a layer. Go a little bit more. That should do it. Right. I haven't done one of these. Um, Winging it I'm again. winging it yet again. <laughs> I always seem to be bloody winging things, I do, don't I? <laughs> but that's how I like to go. I love it. Don't know what I'm doing from one minute to the next. <laughs> no plans, no nothing. <laughs> right, let's uh, put some gloves on because otherwise I'm going to get covered in mess. Mm -mm. <coughs> <laughs> Right, okay. Let's mix this up. I could have actually mixed this in the lid, really. I was going to say, it can go in there. <laughs> right, now what I need to do, because there's a little crack in the bottom of that, uh, I need to put a little bit of something on there just to stop that going right through. Right. A bit of tape. So I'm just going to use a bit of. That's it, it's just got a crack. So if I put mm. a bit of wax in there, mm -hmm. that's it. That will hold that. So I want to get this now. Like so. Right. I have got some resin because I bought some resin the other day. Oh, don't do that. I don't want the outside of the lid. Probably should have done this lid bit black first, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter. Oh, It'll be matter. A fine. You can do the fine little coating of that. You can just cover that bit. Right. Whether it's going to actually work, I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, yeah. It's Wing, just me. Winging it. Winging it. Winging it. Oh. Uh, not that much. That do. enough of that one it's like being a kid again isn't it mm. I'm going to put a little bit of this one in I don't know what this one is brown. something like that I'll do it over here so if it falls it goes in my oh. yeah. Yeah. there we go just going to put a little bit of just here and there Mm. 
You've got any yellow? No. Oh. Well, I have, but I wasn't doing any yellow. No. No. Right. Okay. starting to set already so I'm just doing some as that starts to set I should give that another little poke if you like I'll poke it about a bit it right okay that's the paints done with let me get a um, bit of tissue and wipe this bald and then I'll get back to doing the bottom bit Yeah, that's slowly setting. Well, I've just got to basically leave that to set, okay? Mustn't play about with it. <laughs> so he pokes it. <laughs> that's what I want that to be. Right, so I'm putting that up there. I'll come back to that in a bit. I've got a little bit of red paint on the side of that. That's all right, that's okay. Right, nice little coloury swirly bit on the top. Right, okay, now we're gonna sort this out. So I'm gonna spin it up. Do a little bit of sand on that. Resin, yep, that's going hard now. So I've just got to put a few little dents in it. I'll just bring it over and show you. I just want to put a few little dents like this in it. Right, that's going hard. There you go. They should stay in that now. That should stay like that rippled, rippled effect. <laughs> right, okay. Brush some of this off. Right, I'm just gonna. a little bit of burning on here just darkens it up a bit here comes jasmine she's all right if she doesn't get in the yeah, way of all the that's it sit sit good girl jasmine does like to come and sit in all the shavings <laughs> very much like buster now this won't matter in there, you'll see why when I'm done, because that's going to... Oh, I've got a few cracks appearing, got to be careful. Oh. Right, that's going to be enough. That'll do. I can't do it because it's going to crack, wood Wood will start to crack, because it is still a little bit damp. Yeah, it just appeared a couple there. That's not yeah. going to be a problem, because right. this is a cauldron, so that's okay. But at the moment, it's a hot drink. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to put a bit of spray over this. Turn my thing on. And we'll spray it black and that'll be better. <laughs> so we'll start up, we'll turn it down. I can clean it off after I just do it with a bit of sandpaper.
got a little crack there at the top. Got burnt here. Right, I'm gonna leave that to dry for a minute. Leave that to dry. I don't know whether that my epoxy resin is doing. Yeah, that's going hard. It's a bit longer, isn't it? No, let's get in there. That's gonna be fitting back on there like so. That's popped on there, that's nice. Right, now. Do you want to spray it? <laughs> I, yeah, I want to. I want to spray it. But what I'm going to have to do is bring my twirly birdie up. To hold it. Uh -huh. That's it. It's not going to be turning very fast, so we should be all right. Uh, right, a live centre. Oh, oh, oh no. throw that in the bin just to <laughs> dust it off. Right, all good. That's all good. Right, I want one of these. I want one of my life centre things on here. Possibly this one. Right, that'll do. A small piece of this. Popped on there. Pop that back on there. I can feel the heat on that epoxy. <laughs> Five hands here. Want me to just slide it back? Yeah, go on, just slide it forward a little bit. That do. Frank, can you? Mm -hmm. Right, all that's got to do is hold that on. We're not turning fast. We've got a speed turn right down. That's it. Right, now I can spray that. I've just got to spray this lid. back up and that should be all right because I'm only turning very slow I just want the black to go a little bit further around that's In, all that's fine, only there yeah. to hold that on that's it that's it's it. just to stop it coming off that's all I just want the, the black to go a little bit further around oh I'm out got, I was gonna say you got enough in there I'm out <laughs> Right, okay, can you pass my black? It's right behind you, darling. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, I've run out of um, the old black spray. Chocolate <laughs> block. <laughs> a bit more? How'd do? Oh. I thought you'd spill it. Um, I should lift it up. There's some tissue just there. Right, okay. Just on this edge here, like this. Don't matter if it just goes on the inside of that a little bit. That will yeah, all add to it. Yeah. Right, okay. That's alright, that's just making that little noise. That's okay. Stains dry, dries pretty much immediately. That's it, right. So that's my lid bit. That can stay like that for now. Right, what I want to do. It's just sand this top on here. There's a few marks just there, I can see. So I'm gonna just sand that. Get rid of that. Fresh bit of sandpaper for it. Well, 
it a bit more. There we go, right, that's gonna do for the spraying at the moment. I've gotta turn that round. I'm gonna leave that to dry. And I've got to go down now and I've got to drill some holes in this. Okay. Right, okay. You can follow, Lisa, uh, just follow I'll around. Take you. I will take you. I'm just gonna drill a few little holes it through this 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 lid. There's nothing uh it ain't gotta be anything over exact. I'm using I think that's a three mil drill bit. Kind of put a light on here, might help you. Right now. They ain't got to be anything, they've got, got to be... Oh, hang on, that's not in light. Sorry. Right. No, sorry, hang on, that must be a slightly bent drill bit. It's moving, it's wobbling. Sorry guys, I might have a bit of trouble, with this, but I think it's my um, Chuck, Axe Minster Chuck, see? <laughs> no, that's a bit better. Well, we go with that. Right, so I'm just gonna put some, some holes just Random, nothing got to be over special. It has to go all the way through it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's drilling all the way through. I'm just doing about 15, 15 mil or so apart. I'm going to come and do the one back in the centre. Can I see from? Yep, they're all clear. All holes are clear. <laughs> I'll no. just throw the drill bit down there for yeah. now. That'd be fine. <laughs> right, okay. Come back to it later. <laughs> right, that's going to sit on there okay. Mm -hmm. Right, that's for that bit. Now, we've got to turn it round and take the foot off. Or do, do the foot. I think do that little bead thing that you should Well, do. I need to actually have it so it stands. So I'm yeah. just going to tidy that up tidy and then up, yeah. finish it because it needs to stand yeah. on that. I mean, this is, I say this is for Halloween. Right now, very quickly, guys, before I do anything, I'm going to close my chuck up, turn it on, turn my speed up a bit. And tidy that up. <laughs> and just clean this up. Yeah. Wire brush. It's all nice and silver again. And this is a brass, brass wire brush, so it's not as abrasive as the um, a steel one. There you go, look at that. Beautiful, spick and span. All dressed and ready for action. <laughs> there you go, just, I'd just like to clean it up. Oh, as soon as I'm done. I don't like paint on my chucks. Yeah, look at that, lovely and shiny silver. Uh -huh. All done. Right, okay, so now what I'm going to do, just hold it out, oh, actually, I probably could have kept that chuck on for holding that. Uh, Did you? No, I think it's going to probably be 
this one no it won't be right i've got to just hold it so i can just do sort of output out i think it's going to be on my soft jaws again yeah i reckon i can open them up into it we'll see whether we can if not we can sort so i've got loads of ways i can hold it there's loads of ways you can hold these things i honestly think that's going to get it yep look at that just right that's just got it right okay that's that's all good but i'm going to bring up and i'm going to use my little ring center there okay that has no point at all there's just absolutely no point to it just got no point to it <laughs> <laughs> It's got no point to it and i'm going to put a little bit of routing mat router matting over it so it doesn't mark the bottom tighten like that and that's it that's held enough let's see let's start up and see what it does yep that all looks good to me right turn it up a little bit more it's over 2000 rpm uh, i'm going to leave my glove on for the moment because they're only little rubber gloves. Use a small spindle, Gav. Yeah. They're not going to catch on anything, and if they do, they just rip these things. They're just the rubber silicone ones. Oh, look at that, I'm getting that silicone. Oh, okay. It's not actually even holding, is it? I don't think it's even holding. <laughs> it's just there to stop it, it can't come off, that's it. There we go. There we go, we put a little line in the bottom of it, just so it looks like we've done something to it. But it's, uh, that's going to be good enough, I think. There we go. That's going to be okay for what I want it for. All right. And now I've got just a uh, little bit of sand on it. Just sand it a little bit. Let's, uh, let's take this out of the way. Oh look at that, that put me a little, a little pattern on the bottom, look. Yeah, well I've done that deliberately. Yeah. Yeah, that was on that's, that's one of my little trademarks, that is. Yeah. Right. I don't know why I'm feeling it. I can't feel it through the glass. Now I will varnish this um, later. It will get it will get varnished. It get a coat of um, varnish on it just to clean it up. But that that's all I wanted to do at the moment. Okay, I haven't over sanded. Oh. Right, I'm going to dip it in there just to make sure that dips everything. Make sure there's no um, wet stuff on it. <laughs> just drop it into drop my bin of shavings. <laughs> That's a good idea to always do that, guys. <laughs> it's always when it's on camera, isn't it? Uh, see everyone else will pop that out. Yeah, but see, that's like live. That's, that's better than live, because... Right, okay. <laughs> Let's turn that light off. Mm -hmm. Right, so now, guys, the reason behind all that, I've got this in there, which, oh, hang on, I've got to take that out first. 
Got my little bottle top here. Right, take if you do, do this, take the plastic bit out of your bottle top. <laughs> bottle top sits in the bottom there. Right. That's a little bit big. I'll cut that down a bit. There we go. So put me little smoker in there. We'll light that up. Come on, come on, light your thing. Let's get in there. It's smoking. It's smoking. That's it. That's a light that will go down soon. Right, that's starting to smoke. So now my lid goes back on. That pops on. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> with the smoking, it should have some. Yeah, there I can see it. It smoke's coming out of my cauldron. Just yeah. Yeah. You take that off a bit. Yeah, look, it is. It's it's getting there. It's building up as the smoke builds up. There'll be just little bits of smoke coming out of it. I can see smoke coming up on it. I don't know whether you can not or not. Camera. Right, let me hang on a minute. It's it might not be showing through the camera. I can see see smoke coming up there. Um, right, let me put that there. Let me put my table up here. Right, let me see. It, well, it need is to make the hole up. slightly bigger, isn't it? Maybe. No, they are all right. Coming through here. It's probably not smoking quite enough. They put, another another bit of, <laughs> they put another bit of smoker in there. Just and like that. Smoke I'll, us up. I'll just get it filled <laughs> with smoke for the mo for demo purposes. You get the idea anyway, guys. Come on, light. Should've got me blowtorch out, that would've lit it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's lighted. Give that a second to light up. And what I'll do is I'll just Salty. If you could drill a bit through this middle, middle hole. I might have to just open up some of the holes mm -hmm. on it a bit more. Let me put it up there for a second. Give it a chance for the smoke to build up inside. See, I can see the smoke because I'm right next to it. Because look, it's it's filling up in there like that. Come on. There is smoke coming. Well, I can see the smoke coming out. Yeah, yeah but that's the idea, right? But if you bring me that bit there. over. The idea is there. And this is from yesterday. I've got me witch. <laughs> I've done a witch and a, an apprentice. So the witch has got an apprentice. I've done a little cat, black cat, <laughs> and we've got the cauldron. Now that will smoke better at some point, guys. The smokers, they're not the best of, they're probably very no, cheapy smoker best. ones. I'll have to have some better smokers. But the idea is that looks like it's got all hubble bubble, toil and trouble yeah. all in it. That's the top of me, me cauldron. Okay, and I can put my smokers in there. They're not smoking very well. Sorry about that, guys. But, but you get the gist. You get the gist. The smoke will come out of the holes when I got better smokers. Yeah. They were a bit. I think they're a year old. We had them last yeah. year for the for the German smokers. <laughs> when we did the German smokers. So 
that's it guys anyway that's my um this is our take on the smoker that's my little bit of halloween okay <laughs> so i've got the witch that you see me turn yesterday the witch's apprentice i'll turn that out sword done a little cat a little black cat and now we've just done the cauldron which no the smokers they're not yeah, they're not they're smoking not they've gone out i'm afraid that's sorry it. about that guys i'll have to sort out some more of them but that's the idea anyway so i've put a little hole in the bottom and this is why because look that's already getting all sooted up in there so yeah. where it did smoke a little bit and then that just pops back down so it looks like that's the cauldron it looks like it's got all the bits Fire. and pieces of uh what's this con contractor like Hubble, lisa's like bubble. lisa's cooking yeah <laughs> <laughs> you right anyway that's it guys Hubble, had a bubble, bit of fun toil and travel that's what they say in it the witches is that what you all say, is it? That's what we all say. That's what you all say, yeah. yeah. All right, okay. White, <laughs> white witch. <laughs> <laughs> right, see you on the next one, guys. Toodle pip. Bye, guys. Happy Halloween.